good, eh? What do you think, John? Love it. Yeah, so it's good temperature as well. Actually, the yeah. clothes now feel really nice and they breathe. That's yeah, really about cold. minus two. Um, when we make snow, we chill it down to about minus six, minus eight. So it's cold in the evening, but at the moment, yeah. it's nice ambient temperature. Yeah, yeah. Too. And this is a bit like walking out into Switzerland if you have a look at our panoramas around the world. Yeah. This is the closest you get to Switzerland in Hemel Hempstead. Yeah. So it's uh, quite unique. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do, John, I'm going to grab my skis and we're going to head over onto the nursery side over here where we're going to learn how to put the skis on, orientate with the environment, do a bit of walking around. Yeah. Just behind us over here, so I'll yeah. grab that and then we'll go for it. Okay? Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've reached the North Pole. We are definitely in the cold now. So we're going to put the gloves on. Get ourselves fully orientated. It's actually quite an important, uh, quite an important thing to orientate. It is a good word because it is cold, and it it does feel like a totally different environment. And it's getting used to that as well, so that's kind of very important, I say. If you think about today, you've arrived, it's I don't know, 25 degrees outside, beautiful sunshine, yeah. and you're literally stepping into winter. You just why things like the gloves are important, they keep your hands obviously warm, but also the edges of the skis, they can be a little bit sharp, so they also act as protection as well. Yeah. That's another reason for wearing them. Hey, John, what I need you to do is just stand in front of me here, if you can. Now, your skis will be together like that, so to separate the skis, we just put our hands at the top like this and just pull them apart. And then lie them flat on the ground so they're parallel pointing towards me. Now I didn't even realise that they were stuck together. There you go, it's the brakes that hold them together. So, yeah. Okay, when we put a ski on, what we do is stand directly over the top of the ski. Yeah. Much easier that way. If you look at the nib of the front, yeah. the boot here, that goes underneath the toe piece. Yeah. And line the back up yeah. in the heel unit into the cup of the heel piece. Yeah. And we step and the whole thing just clicks in. So I'm going to show you that, then you're going to try it. So, okay. Toe under, line the back up, click. Job done. Okay. Toe under, line the back up. Oh, wow. That's it. Okay, you want to put the other one on for me? <laughs> They're really slippery. Okay. Toe under. Excellent, well done. Okay, so you're now in the skis. We are, we are halfway there. So it feels very strange wearing a pair of skis. You've yeah. already, um, already said that it feels very slippery. Of course, that is the whole purpose of the ski side. So we need to get used to that first of all. So standing statically, yeah. take a slightly lower stance, so we're like this. We're going to push one foot forward and pull one foot back. So we end up kind of in that position. And then we're going to try and just repeat that, doing a gliding, flying motion. Let the skis slide back and forward. That's it, that's great. How's that feel, okay? Yeah, it does, yeah. Okay, bring them back parallel. Generally, when we're standing on a pair of skis, we want to have the skis about hip width apart, give you a better bounce. You're not too close together. Stance for skiing when you're static or when you're skiing down the slope is that rather like the goalkeeper. Okay, so it's flexed, body tip forward, eye line is dipping forward, and the arms and hands are away from the body. That gives you a better balance. Yeah. We're now going to just understand what it's it feels like to lift the ski up because obviously they're quite heavy. So it's up to you if you left or right, I'll leave that to you. Lift the ski up, hold it, and then put it down again. Good. And the same with the other one. Lift it up, hold it, put it down again. Let's see if we can do that again in a quite flowing motion. Well done. Well done. Okay. Yeah, it's, they are extremely heavy and it's really. It's, it's just a weird sensation because you're not used to it. Because you just wear shoes or at worst just bare feet or flip flops, you know, you've got nothing that's actually there. So it's, uh, it's yeah. rather like having really big feet and that's what we try and explain to people. But when you're walking around, you need to be really aware now that your feet are now, your feet are now uh, 160 centimetres long. Yeah. So if you can't just step around, you have to be aware of what's going on. One of the things we do to get a hang of that is we're going to go for a little walk. So I'm going to come in front of you and we're going to walk up over here. Yeah. We're going to turn around walk off in the other direction. So we're going to kind of do a loop around okay. the side. So if I get into position, I'll talk you through it. So it's all pretty straightforward. So just push this one foot and then the other foot. Step 
So that am I sliding or am I walking? You're sliding, sliding when you're going forward. Because so if I do one forward, the other one comes back. Yeah, yeah, you have to get a hang of that. So you slide one forward and then bring the other one forward. So it's just like that's the only doing it. When you get to about here, just start to step the sneeze around. Bearing in mind you've now got feet that are 160 centimeters, so you're trying to keep the sneeze off each other, but that looks fine. Really good. Okay, wow. what I need you to do is turn around so you face it exactly the same way as me. So you're gonna step around again. How tired are you, John? Oh. It, it, yeah, it is, you know, it is quite it's a good workout, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a really good workout. You, you can't believe, you know, you don't have to be super fit. No, I'm not super fit. You know, I don't do loads. I keep active, and I think you know that's that's the thing. But actually, in this air, it's really refreshing as well. It clears your head. Okay, if we're going to ski down the slope, first of all, we're going to go up the slope. <laughs> so, right. so what we're going to do in the early stages, we sidestep. But it's not long before we start using kind of various uphill transportation, like travel aids and ski lifts, and in the mountains you use chairlifts and yeah, and gondolas. Okay. For the first first descent, we're going to have to walk up ourselves. Okay. So what we do is we sidestep. So the right. skis are pointing across the hill. That's really important. Yeah. Okay. Take a small step with the top ski, and another step with the bottom ski. At the moment we're on the flat, so that shouldn't be too challenging. However, as soon as you get on the slidey bit, you have to start edging the lower leg. So you actually have a flat to step on. So what you're doing there? So keep it parallel with the head. Steps. Not the steps too big, really. Yeah. What I'm going to do, John, is I'm going to come out, I'm going to step around, I'm going to slide off probably towards these nets here. Yeah. As soon as I start moving, my hands, my, my skis will be parallel and my hands will be onto my knees. My first run is going to be like this. Okay. I'm going to show you that, but then I'm going to come up and help you. So you don't need to come back up here. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So I'll step out so we've got loads of room. The top leg, I'm going to step that out, my right leg, I'm going to step that out. It's a little bit of a V shape there, you see. Then I'm going to shuffle my feet around and I'm probably going to start to ski off at a slight angle. It's absolutely fine to go on around today, no problem with that. So step around, I'm going to go now, hands on the knees, stand still. Hey John, come on and help. Wow. That's how it should be done. So I've got a question for you. Good question. Um, and it probably I probably already know the answer. We're not using any sticks of any no. sort. Okay. Because it's better to learn without sticks. Better to learn without the sticks. The sticks can be a distraction. So they're another thing to worry about. Yeah. It won't be long. Maybe around about level four on our system in the snow centre, whereby you're making turns. Yeah. Where the instructor will introduce poles. At this stage, really, they're just another distraction. And actually, yeah. if you give them to kids, they will become weapons. So we yeah. tend to not use them right. until later on in the progression. If you Got go it. abroad to, uh, you know, Switzerland or somewhere for your ski holiday, yeah. they will hand you a set of poles. It's likely the instructor will take them off and put them down for the first hour or so of your lesson. Wow. Okay, good. Go up again, take the same kind of line, 
Again, we have to adjust sometimes for the lumps and bumps, just use the edges. I mean, that's already much more competent there, isn't it? Use the lower ski to edge. And you step off that edge to ski, it gives you a platform. We need some Elvis sound effects at this point. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I did notice that we were going higher. Creeping up a bit. It's when, yeah, I can't remember what the word you used was, but the word confidence, I think, means we go higher. Confidence and competence. That's what we're competence doing. and confidence. There you go. Oh, 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 here we go. We spoke too soon there. Every time we say it, something goes wrong. Okay, we're going to ski down again, exactly the same thing. Yeah. It'd be great if we could have the hands actually off the knees and we stand in a goalkeeper position. So we're kind of getting our ski, uh, our ski posture correct. Right. This is a straight run towards the bottom. I noticed before when you got to the bottom, you pushed your skis into a little V shape. Yeah. That's a really good way to kind of control speed towards the end. So carry on with that. Yeah. Okay. And actually, yeah. the V shape is really useful when turning around. It gives you a little bit of a, a platform to step around with. So just watch again. I've come from here. Bit of a V shape helps me turn around. Okay, then I'm off. My hands are away this time. <laughs> things that you learn that you know maybe five minutes ago were really alien and now like yeah that makes sense you know digging the skis in doing the, all that stuff I'll still probably fall over at some point which is what you want to see right okay, but anyway a little bit new now so you can get your skis to point exactly the same way as mine that's better then you'll be more comfortable whilst I talk you through this we're going to turn around using a v-shape it's going to take a little bit more concentration and then I'm going to come up and help you Okay, so I'm going to show you first and I'm going to come back up. Okay. So I'm going to step out here and then my top leg, which in this, this is perhaps my right leg, I'm going to open to a big wide V, but it's got to be wide. Yes, right. I'm going to stretch a bit like that, see? Wow. Big okay. wide V shape, okay? Bottom leg, I'm going to move just about this much, a couple of centimetres. Whatever I do with that, I then mirror with the other one. So effectively, I'm pointing this V shape down the hill. Now, because it's in a V shape, I'm not actually going to run anywhere until I want to, so I can what we call slope hang. I can hang on the slope. Yeah. get myself prepared and then we get a more direct route down so i'll have a go i'm going to pick the skis off so i'm more mobile and i'm going to come up and help you do that because it takes a bit of getting used to yeah. once you've got it again you've got more independence okay so okay. here step the skis together down we go Right then. It looks so easy when Pete does it, but let's give it a go. Let's go a little bit higher, another another metre and a half. That's it. Oh, there you go. Oh. And, the, and the legs, come on. 
So I can walk on the snow, I can slide on the snow, keeping my balance generally, a couple of little falls. Uh, next, it's actually slide, actually like skiing and such, is the next part of walking and sliding, is actually moving in a fluid direction, sidestepping as well. And then we'll get to that angle thing, which Pete's called... Snowplow. Snowplow.